Hi, it's Clotilde from all of Sirius Italy. It's such a pleasure to be here with you. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Thank you. You too. So how do you think uh, this genre of TV series has evolved over the years? And above all, how do you think shrinking stand out and position itself in this field? Oh, so how do, how do I think TV comedies have evolved? Yeah. Oh, it's a good question. You know, um, all right. I'm so excited when somebody asks me a question I haven't been asked yet. <clears throat> the, uh, 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 when I started in television, I made mostly American network television. And here's what was interesting. You would make sometimes 22, 24, 26 episodes a year. It's a lot. And uh, the weird thing about it was your goal was to be on forever and the characters should never change because it was comfort food. You know, when you turned on Cheers, you wanted uh, Sam Malone to be the same guy. When you, you know, when you turned on Scrubs, even after, you know, nine years, JD was still kind of the same goofy childish intern. And that's when we knew we should probably wrap it up. Um, and what's really interesting, what I like about modern storytelling and streaming television is they expect you to tell a journey story where people evolve and people change and things happen. And that's why it feels like there's more of a beginning, middle and end. I really like that. And it, it lines up very directly with shrinking because when we, when we pitched the show, you know, and sold the show, he said the first year was about grief, second year was about forgiveness, and the third year was about moving forward. So it's kind of refreshing as a writer to know the story we were telling. Yeah, exactly. In fact, like I was also wondering, how was it to, to tackle season two with the characters reaching a new level of self-awareness and also finding new balances? Oh, it's uh, you know, it's interesting. It's it's uh, look, I think the I think the show works because of the generosity of, you know, Harrison Ford and Jason Segel are partners uh, of mine and they're big iconic actors and they could very easily go, we want the whole show to be about us. Um, but they so love the ensemble and see the talented people around them of, you know, not only um, Jessica Williams and Michael Urie and my wife, Krista, um, you know, but uh, 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 the kids, uh, Lukita Maxwell and uh, Luke Tenney and even uh, making uh, um, uh, Ted McGinley a regular. And so when they really embraced it being an ensemble, uh, it kind of removed the burden from us because we can kind of fill out everybody's life and everybody's character. And I, I, I think there, I, you know, people have asked me like, who my favorite is this year? Everybody has big moments to shine. So it's really not kind of cool for me as a, as a creator to see these people all take ownership of the show. It's great. Well, yes, I think it's one of the, the the greatest part of the show that you can relate in different moments with different characters. So like really congratulations. I really enjoyed the show and good luck with everything. Thank you so much. And thank you for being so, so yeah. nice. You have such a sweet personality. It was lovely meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.